here A is your amplitude. It is the distance, actually, concept or contextually it's the radius of the circle. But it is also the distance of the max or min from the baseline. B is actually your angular speed, omega, and it does tell you your period. We find that the period can be determined as taking 2 pi and dividing by b. All right, C is the horizontal shift or the phase shift. And in this case, it's the radians that we're shifted by. So if we're adding pi over 2, it means we shift a quarter of a period to the left. Important thing to remember here is that adding means that we shifted left. Subtracting means we shifted right. And then lastly, we want to look at D. D is the vertical shift or the baseline. It is graphically the location of your baseline. It is also the distance of the center of the circle from the line of reference. For example, for Steve, it was the distance of the center of his span from the tabletop that we were measuring from. Those are the four main parts of your trig functions. Knowing that, let's sketch this graph. 10 cosine pi over 3x plus pi over 2 minus 5. First thing I'll always pull out is my baseline, followed closely by my amplitude. My baseline's at negative 5. Negative 5 plus 10 means we're going all the way up to a positive 5. Negative 5 minus 10 means we're going down to negative 15. All right. My baseline's at negative 5. I'm going up to positive 5 down to negative 15. I do like to draw three dotted lines. One at the max, one at the min, and one at the baseline. It helps when plotting your base. Okay, next I always like to look at the angular speed. Our angular speed is pi over 3. Our period is 2 pi divided by the angular speed, so that's 2 pi times 3 over pi. Gives us an angular speed of 6. The other way you could reason this through, if our angular speed is pi over 3, that means we cover half a circle in 3 seconds, full circle in 6. So there's my full circle. Okay. Cosine usually starts at the top. But we have a horizontal shift of pi over 2. It's a plus of pi over 2. So that means how we usually start at the top, we're actually shifting left by a quarter of a circle. So the top starts here. Then we hit center, bottom, center, max, center, min, center. And there's my graph. I have an amplitude of 10, a baseline at negative 5, a period of 6, and a horizontal shift of pi over 2 radians.